Aunice, Aunibara, Netogoko Kolman, Noye Arma Daloye Farafina. Welcome to another episode of Kuma Bakolo. Our dance, Kuma Bakolo Keneka. In this show, we focus on the essence of talk by looking at real life examples of Mandang words written and hopefully someday spoken. So let's have a look at what we're going to be looking at today. Ankata. So in today's episode, I want to focus on something that's actually written in Unko. So if you aren't familiar with Unko, I've done a few other videos about it, but the short of it is that it's a writing system invented in 1949 by a West African Mandang speaking intellectual named Suleman Akante. Alaka Hinala, may God have pity on him or rest in peace. He passed away in 1987 from diabetes. If you're interested in learning more about Kante, I actually wrote my dissertation about Kante and the Unko movement in part. Otherwise, there's tons of things online. Uh, Iowa. Don't ambita uh, fanikala. Let's go read this thing that I've picked out. Uh, and it's from Kanjamadi. So I'll leave the link in the description below, but it's an important Unko website where you can get news that's regularly posted with full articles, which is kind of cool. And the one that I picked for today is a little bit old, but it's totally timely. So Ambenaukala. So let's read that one. So here it is. Uh, you can see it in the Oko Okodi. So I'm going to read it. If you don't know the Unko alphabet, you'll still be able to follow along. And when I type it into the document, I'll put it in Latin script, albeit without the tone marking. So you'll be able to follow nonetheless. And then hopefully this will encourage you to want to uh, actually learn to read and write Unko since there's a ton of websites and that kind of thing. Aywa, Okodi, Oko, Jati Bolang, Unko Mang, Barase, iPhone Kono. Jati Bolang, Unko Mang, Barase iPhone Kono. Aywa. Don Ambenita. I think that a lot of you probably recognize at least one of those words. Let's see if I can highlight this uh -huh, correctly. Aywa. Don Ambenita. Ah. Oko. Mufen. Jati Bolan. Unko man. Bara iPhone. Barase iPhone Kono. Aywa. O Korokodi. So, first of all, let's look. Jati Bolan. That's going to be our one, our first noun phrase. So uh, let's, that's going to be the subject as well. And let me see if I can do this. Let me say jati. Uh huh. Let me skip down a line. So jati uh, bolang. Uh, jati bolang korokodi. So actually, if we have a, we pop back over to the article, you can see there's a picture over here in the article of what looks like unko calculatrice and it's cut off. But, and then a picture of a calculator. So that actually is going to be a good example of what we're talking about here. It's a calculator. So jati bolang, if we jump back to that, kajati. Uh, so uh, let's make this kajati means to count something, right? Kajati bo would be the act of counting to actually which we've seen a lot means to come out or to remove, to sortir in French. And in this case, would have to be with the act of doing counting, right? Uh, so that would be something like to do calculations, but we're not using the verb faire, uh, right? Or the verb ke, meaning to do, but rather the verb kabo. So that's just a particularity you have to learn. And here, what do we have? lang. So lang is actually a suffix that I don't think we've seen this far, which is turn something into an instrument, right? So this is saying counter as in a counting machine or a counting instrument. And you can say all sorts of things with lang. For instance, I could make one up uh, spontaneously. It's pretty productive if I said like kum tanga, and I'm going to put in the dashes. You can see it kum tanga na would be head, protect, and then Nang, meaning instrument, so head protect er. In English, we just use er for that. So this would be a helmet. Kuntanga nang, uh, head protect er. Or jati bolang, in this case, means calculator. Aywa. Uh, aye muke. So what did this calculator do? Oko abarase iPhone kono. So let's talk about iPhone, so this is written in Unko, obviously, but if you sound it out, then it looks like it actually just says iPhone. Uh, so let's put that in a different color. 
Uh, so it's written out if you want phonetically, just approximating what people hear. Uh, and it's iPhone Kono. So Kono is something you, you probably recognize if you've watched the Basic Bombra series. So Kono uh, means inside, right? And it can also be used to mean your stomach. So you can say, Kono mai. my stomach is not good, meaning uh, not feeling well, um, or there's a problem with my stomach. Or you can say, Mbe so kono. I'm in the house, right? Or Mbe bon kono. I'm in the house or the room. Uh, and then here, it has something to do with in the iPhone then, right? iPhone kono. Jate uh, bolan bara se. And I'm going to come back to this unko man. Let's come back to that. Jate bolan bara se. So the verb is kase. Mm, kase which means to arrive, right? So we can say mbese, uh, meaning uh, I'm, I arrive, but it can also mean to be able to, right? So uh, to be able to, but we can say nsera kunu, I arrived yesterday, nsera kunu, right? But if someone's like, oh, can you speak jula? You can say ntese, I can't speak jula, ntese. Uh, and uh, here, what's interesting is we have the word bada, right? Bada is something that most Bambara speakers are not familiar with, most Jula speakers aren't, because it's actually a typically maninka form. So this is a good way when you read unko text that you can get introduced to another mandang variety. So bada is going to be like a past form, but it's typically a more recent past or that's more relevant for what we're covering right now. So for instance, if we say, so I'm gonna put here, let's just put uh, relevant or immediate. Uh, whoop, how do you write that? Rele relevant or immediate past marker. So it's actually an auxiliary or a predicate marker. So that's just like the other ones we know, like for instance, we could say something like, and I'll make this a little bit smaller, mbe ta, right? I go, and this is be is our auxiliary marker. But then we could also have something like, uh, and this is what bada is gonna be, mbada ta would be I went, but it's in the immediate sense. Most Bambara and Jula speakers instead, right, say ntara, and say it's this ra that represents the idea of the past. Bada here does the same work as that, but it goes in the slot that we expect, which is between the subject and the verb. So just something that can be a little bit tricky if you're not familiar with it, because you just haven't seen it, but otherwise it totally follows the structure. So in this case, then if we go back to our sentence, so badase then is going to be uh, that it arrived in the iPhone. So you could say, for instance, badase iPhone kono. It arrived into the iPhone. So now let's talk about unkoma. So unko, which you see up here in the writing, and I'll write it down here for us one more time. Huh? So unko, in this case, I'll write it with the apostrophe because it's not the proper consonant, na, the N consonant. It's actually the syllabic nasal of the word like n, meaning I. So I'll write it like this conventionally. So unko would mean this writing system. And when we say unko ma, that is then turning into something that has the property of being in unko. So unko ma is saying, an unko calculator using mang as a kind of adjective. You could use this for other kinds of suffix or other with other words. For instance, if we said nalong, uh, nalong being somebody who's kind of uh, dense or not too uh, smart, you could say nalomang, right? Nalomang then is a, a, a word that mixes the qualitative verb nalong then to turn it into an adjective. So you could say mogo nalamang. So a stupid or idiotic person. Yafama kumanyana mate. Sorry, that's not a nice thing to say, so uh, please forgive me. Aywa. So if we put our whole thing together then, we have jatibola unko ma barase iPhone kono. So an unko calculator has arrived onto the iPhone. Uh, and so let's go back to the page that I had pulled up. 
you can see there's a picture, a screenshot of this UNCO calculator. And then actually, if we look here, I found the app uh, UNCO Calculatrice. So this has come out and it's an app that is a calculator for performing everyday math using the UNCO script. Aiwa. Don't ikana foko itseka UNCO sabe. You mustn't say that you can't write UNCO because obviously there are apps that are out there so you can. Aiwa. Nala sona video ni diara aoye. If you have any questions about UNCO, please let me know, post down below, and either me or somebody else will hopefully get back to you. Otherwise, did you like this video? Think about throwing me a tip or becoming a patron. Nala sona nebanaseka video wereke aoye. Hopefully, I'll be able to do another video for you guys. Aiwa, kanben, aonichi.